Welcome back, everybody. It's a second straight award-winning day across northern Illinois and southern Wisconsin. And as Mike and Anna Marie pointed out before the break, a third straight gorgeous day is ahead of us here tomorrow. Temperatures today did stay in very similar territory to where they were yesterday in the low to mid 70s. So just a hair below what's considered normal this time of year. Uh, but all things considered, I don't think you're finding too many people registering any complaints. Here's a look at uh, temperatures right now. We're generally between 71 and 74 to Cal below an exception at 70. Just a remarkably dry bear, a brand of air. And that's not a surprise with winds again coming in off of Lake Michigan, which naturally is a dry, comfortable air flow. We are tracking some clouds working into eastern Iowa and about to cross the Mississippi River on Max Storm Tracker. But the showers and storms that you see are still, oh, a good three, four hundred miles off to our west. They're weakening and they'll continue to do so. They're not a threat to us at all later on tonight or even into tomorrow. So we expect more of the same tonight, maybe just a few clouds. Aside from that, we are looking very, very benign. Lots of sunshine tomorrow. A couple of cottony cumulus clouds, especially in the afternoon hours. This cloud cover will thicken tomorrow afternoon and more so tomorrow evening, but there's no fear of any rain infringing upon any of our outdoor plans. However, by the time we pass midnight and head into early Saturday morning, that does become a different story. Showers arrive around sunrise, maybe even a little bit before, and they will continue for a good chunk of the morning before shutting off sometime in the mid to late afternoon hours. I remain cautiously optimistic that we do uh, squeeze out some dry time tomorrow or uh, Saturday afternoon, and certainly by Saturday evening we should be sitting much more pretty it's clear skies then for a Saturday night that'll take us into Sunday and while there could be some fog in the early going sunshine is expected to take over what promises to be a very very pleasant conclusion to the weekend as far as the severe weather threat goes with Saturday's storms nothing to worry about maybe a couple rumbles of thunder some heavier downpours but the severe threat remains well off to the west and then we'll be kind of in a hit or miss pattern here with one nice day one not so nice day, one nice day, one more unsettled day. Now we'll put this in the iffy category still and not say inside just yet, because I do think that there will be some dry time on Saturday and then Monday while the storm chances go way, way up and there could be some stronger ones. I also think there will be plenty of dry hours as well. Here's a look at our, what we expect for our Friday an even 80 degree high temperature for us with some showers very late Friday night. Few rumbles are possible on Saturday, but otherwise showery conditions and rather cloudy nighttime showers on Sunday. And we do have a first alert out for the potential of some stronger storms Monday, Tuesday and Wednesday should be emphasized, though, that no all day washouts are likely on any one of those particular days. So. Not bad as we close the book of May uh, and uh, open the book on the month of June. Hard to believe it's it's going yeah, so fast. It's yeah, it's looking promising. It's, yeah, it's, and it's good to be out in nature and maybe see some butterflies. How about that? <laughs> yeah, so something other, an insect other than cicadas, right? Yes, yeah. yes. The cicadas are out obviously in full force, but let's talk about the less annoying butterflies. <laughs> they actually serve some pretty significant benefits to the human race and how we can actually have a role in preserving them. That's coming up next.